Hello and welcome to my 3DK building kit demonstration layout. Um, the track for the bottom of the layout is now in place. So we're putting in the abutments that's going to support the station and the town above um, the dock area. So here we're just trimming back some of the polystyrene as the wall is going to curve round um, to meet up with the side of the canal. The canal will disappear under the town and under the railway which will be above. So we're just putting some glue on the uh, the wood just before sticking it on the side of the, the polystyrene. And using some one and a half inch pins just to hold it in place while the glue dries and hopefully it will be fairly solid after that. I'm just going to clean up some of the residue of the glue here just before it starts to set and then the walling can now be assembled. Stone walling can be purchased as it says from myself um, you can download the sheet and you can use it as many times as you want. Here we're cutting out the other side of the canal um, we're cutting sections out of the the wooden uh, walling. This is where the bridges are going to be for the upper layout that will run into the station. The train in the foreground runs under the upper section and will go to a fiddle yard. This will be the naval yard um, that it runs to. And again, just using some pins just to hold it in place while all the glue dries. And then I've assembled all the, the rest of the walling and just putting in some of the arches or the arch stones over the canal. The canal disappears into a tunnel which disappears under the town. And then after this, we'll put in some of the stonework in the corners. All the internal and external corners all have uh, stonework that gets glued on them. And just assembling one of the uh, corner pieces of stonework that I mentioned. Again, it's so simple to cut out, just glue and just press into place. Just give it a last uh, press just to make sure that it is all glued in place. And then stonework round the sides of the tunnel entrance. As I said before, this is the track that uh, runs down to the naval shipyard. Uh, disappears into the tunnel. Under what's going to be above it is a marshalling yard. Uh, it'll disappear into a, a fiddle yard. Now finish the rest of the stonework and we can switch to making some more of the abutments. These are just um, strips of balsa wood um, cut and glued together. And then just to make sure that it does glue in, in one piece we'll use some clamps just to, to hold it so that uh, it doesn't move and just to make sure that um, the glue sets and the wood sets in the right place. So we can put that to the side. Um, we've cut already a piece of stonework and we're going to glue the balsa wood abutment to the back of the stonework and then just fold over the edges again using the clamps to hold it in place. The sheets come um, printed. You can download these from our website at uh, 3dk.ca. They're all photographs of actual stonework and uh, once you, you cut them out, stick them down, they do look very effective. Um, 
it saves a lot of uh, painting, it's a very quick way of creating some nice walling. The other end of the layout where the railway arches are, there's one last piece of walling to go in. And as you can see the railway arches can be purchased from, uh, from my website and they're uh, a great bargain at $3.99. Once you download the railway arches you can print them out as many times as you want. So it's a kit of four arches and you can print out um, as many lengths as required. Just putting in place now the stone abutment. Just make sure that it's vertical with a T-square. As we don't want it looking squint. As sometimes happens. So it's always good to have a T-square just to make sure for uh, for definite that it is straight. You don't want to find out after the glue's set that it's slightly off, off skew. I fitted out in place the um, the coping stone on top of the canal wall, which is the, the strips of wood, which will eventually um, be cut and painted to look like um, stonework. And one of the the remaining abutments is going in place again. T square just to make sure that it is straight. As you can see, it's not quite straight. Um, so just to make sure that uh, it's parallel with all the other abutments and all the other pieces of wall. Just a final adjustment and then we can leave it to dry. The stone abutments um, are slightly bright so uh, we're just going to dull it down with some artist chalk. I've used some uh, kind of rusty red and black just to give a, a darkish brown powder and then just taking a, a dry brush, just uh, brush the powder onto the stonework and it just blends it in with the stonework that's already on the wall and in place. Being quite a confined dockyard, there would be a lot of soot and dirt and dust floating about so um, the stonework would pick up quite a bit of grime. So this just takes the uh, the shine off the, off the printed paper just to make it even more realistic than it actually is. It doesn't take much to um, create a very authentic look with the weathering powders. As I say, they're just simple artist shop that you can pick up in any art shop. I think I got these for, um, for about $5.99. So they're not expensive and they do last an awful long time. And then again we turn our attention to all the other abutments that we have fixed in place and just to dull them down just to blend them in. There should be nothing really on your layout that um, is too bright. Everything should be fairly subdued. As in real life, everything has a coating of dirt or grime, especially uh, in the era the layouts uh, based on, which is in the steam era. Um, so there was a lot of soot and dirt floating about there that uh, would land on the likes of the abutments and the walls. So it's always good just to tone everything down so nothing is uh, too bright. Everything has a nice coat of weathering, a coat of dust and dirt on it. Above the, the archway leading into the tunnel, uh, I've put an extra uh, black sooty um, smear on it just to um, show the dirt and soot from the steam engines as they go through the tunnel, tunnel mouth. The other two uh, tracks to the right just simply go to two sidings on the other side of the canal. There's a canal wharf, um, there is a warehouse where the canal goes into, so um, there will be a canal building that will go over the top of the, the canal and will be fed by the two um, sidings there.
still a lot of work to do on the on the top. Um, still got to finish off the the bridges, make the um, the the bridge sides, which I'll show in another video. Still got to paint the tops of the coping stones for the canal side. So thank you for watching this uh, video of our 3DK demonstration layout and please pay us a visit on our website. Have a good day.